I'm over here making my coffee so I could stay up and you know and also got some tea over there yummy 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 my wife made some brownies over here some sugar and so I'm really really excited it's gonna be a really fun night alright guys as you can see I had just started and tonight I am starting with Titanic to fall into the three hour plus category I've always loved this movie I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters in 3D, but I really wanted to. But I figured I'd go ahead and start out with that. I got my coffee in my Criterion cup. So, oh, my glasses just got hit. All right, guys. And since I just finished Titanic, it is now 12.30. Wait, that can't be right. Titanic's a three and something hour movie. Huh. I think I might have to change the batteries. Alright, here are the batteries. I'm going to go change the clock. Let's look through my collection and see what I'm going to watch next. Alright guys, I think I found something I'm going to watch, and this is going to also be on my 3 hours plus category, and it is the uncut version of Das Boat, one of my favorite films. So let's begin. First let me just refill my coffee. I love my coffee black. Here we go. One of the reasons why I love this film so much is because it really shows the true claustrophobia of being in a sub or a U-boat. And the characters are so rich and they just feel so hopeless and look so hopeless at times. It's just such a great film. And I love this long, uncut version the original TV version because it just brings so much more to the story. I think it's about five or six hours long. So I hope you guys see it eventually. Five out of five stars. Well, it seems that I'm wide awake again. And it is 2.54 and I'm wide awake. Hey guys, Ryan here. I just got done finishing Das Boat, and once again, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love it, I love it, I love it, and I give it 5 out of 5 stars. Now i got to look for something else to watch. Oh yeah, and it's about 5.30 in the morning now, and I'm still awake. My next film. Apparently this film was a huge flop at the box office. And it's one of the reasons why Al Pacino did not make a lot of films in the 80s. Because it was just one bad film after another. So, I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm just chilling. I'm pretty tired. But I'm going to push forward. I know when the sun starts coming up in a few minutes, um, that I'll start feeling a little bit more awake. So, plus my wife will be waking up and it'll be great. Um, so, I'll let you guys know how I like this film. Hey guys, just got done watching Author Author, starring Al Pacino, and it wasn't that bad of a movie. I don't even know why it flopped. Um, great performances. Al Pacino is just great in everything he does. He's one of my favorite actors, probably my number one favorite actor. Um, I did do almost doze off a couple times, but I don't know if that's just because I'm really tired. Um, but other than that, the movie was pretty good, and I'll get into more detail in it later. 
So I probably give that about. Just kidding. I'm not going to give a star rating on that one until later. And now I am watching Samuel Fuller's The Big Red One. And this is the reconstruction. But first, let's open up the blinds. Alright guys, how you guys doing? Well, I just had to make some more coffee because it's morning and that's what people do in the morning. Um, I'm about an hour into this and I got about two hours left. I do not know what I'm watching after it. So, just keep watching. Alright guys, um, The Big Red One is the movie I've been watching. It is pretty much over. I am now going to go take a shower and clean up, and I'm going to head out and go get some lunch. And then I'm going to come back and continue my marathon, and I'm just, whatever time I miss, I'm going to make it up at the end. So instead of ending at 10, I'll end at whatever time is necessary for it to be 24 hours. So, alright guys, I'll see you when I get back. Hey everybody, Ryan here. I am back from lunch, and I'm going to be starting to watch my favorite musical, and that is Guys and Dolls, with Marlon Brando and Frank Sinatra. I think I'm starting to catch a head cold because I'm really stuffy, so, um, if you guys seen the movie, if you like it, comment down below. I happen to really enjoy it, so, um, yep, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. Hey everybody, I'm here. I'm not going to lie, I fell asleep a little bit during the movie, but I did finish it. Um, it's not that I don't like it, I love it. I'm just really, really tired. I didn't know I was going to be this tired, and I didn't know staying up was going to be this hard. Um, let me check and see what time it is. It is 3.37 p.m., and... I am still on no sleep. I haven't slept longer than 30 minutes at all since this contest started. Hey guys, my pick for foreign film is tech. It's technically not foreign because it's it's English, but it's a French production by Luc Besson, and it's Leon the Professional, an amazing film, and so. I hope you guys like the film as much as I do. I'm starting to wake up now because I've been really exhausted all day because staying up all night, I'm not used to that. But I'm going to finish it and I'm excited that I'm finally going to finish the 24 hours. It's such a great film. The action, the character development, Gary Oldman's performance is amazing. I haven't seen this film in like six or seven years, but it's brilliant. Since I don't want to leave the house again and delay it a little bit, you know, delay the marathon, I actually just ordered Chinese food. And so, the movie that I'm watching now is a classic that I have never seen, and it is Angels with Dirty Faces, starring James Cagney, Pat O'Brien. Dead End, Dead End Kids, and Humphrey Bogart. So I'm really looking forward to this. Alright guys, well, I just got done eating Somehow some Chinese food, and now I'm I eating some egg drop soup. Good stuff. I love it so much. And I'm still watching Angels with Dirty Faces. Alright guys. Just got done watching Angels with Dirty Faces. And <clears throat> it was a great film. I was really surprised, considering it was um, one of the early James Cagney gangster films. I didn't realize they were that good all along. And so, and once again at the end of the 24 hours, I'm going to do a full-on review of each of these films at the end of this video. So, look for that. Now, I think I'm going to watch The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, a film by Luis Buñuel. 
Alright, so here's the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie. And as I said, it's a film by Louise Bunuel, and it's an out-of-print criterion. And the reason why I'm going to be showing this film instead of my um, favorite film, which is The Godfather, is because I wanted to choose a film off of my top 50 favorites list that maybe some people may not have heard of. And so that's why I chose this. Now, I do know a lot of you have heard of Louise Bunuel and know of this movie, but I know there's some of you that may haven't, and I want to try to introduce you into his films because this film is just incredibly insane and just a brilliant piece of film, and it's really hilarious as well. So I'm going to go ahead and watch that and then give a full-on review later. I first heard of this film when Steve... Um, aka Big Toe 512 recommended it to me and he actually sent me this film and I can't remember if we did a trade or I paid for it but it was out of print and it was awesome they sent it to me because it's a brilliant piece of um, filmmaking and so Steve if you're watching this thanks again in the category for three hour plus film Titanic great historical fiction film the historical part is real. The fiction part is the main characters. It's a very good movie, and I give it 5 out of 5 stars. Da's Boat is also in the 3 plus hour category. This one runs at 5 hours and is about World War, World War II German U boats, and it takes place in one U boat, and it really explains the claustrophobia. It is a Wolfgang Peterson masterpiece, and 5 out of 5 stars. Al Pacino in the film Author Author. This is in the flop category. It was considered a big box office flop that really almost destroyed Pacino's career in the 80s because he had a series of bad films. I don't think he had a bad film in the 80s per se. This film was, was pretty good because of his performance, so I give it 3.5 out of 5 stars. The next film is The Big Red One, directed by Samuel Fuller. The original version previewed it about two hours long and was a flop. They recently remastered it to almost three hours, the original Cannes Film Festival length, and now it is considered a modern day or a masterpiece. Five out of five stars. My favorite musical, Guys and Dolls, starring Marlon Brando and Frank Sinatra. It's not the best musical, but it is my favorite. It is slow in parts, maybe a little bit too long, but either way I give it four out of five stars. Leon the Professional, a masterpiece, directed by Luke Besson, starring Gary Oldman, Jean Renau, and a very early performance, I think the film debut, of Natalie Portman. This film was technically a French production, so I decided to use this as my foreign film category. Five out of five stars. Angels with Dirty Faces, starring James Cadney, and also a performance by Humphrey Bogart. This is a great gangster film, and I don't want to give any away the story, but you guys got to see it. It's a definitely a mixture of gangster, film noir. It's just a great performed movie, directed by Michael Curtiz of Casablanca. Four out of five stars. And lastly, the film that comes under the category of one of my favorite films, that is The Discreet Charm of Bourgeoisie. I forgot to mention Angels with Dirty dirty faces falls under the classics I'd never seen category. So, Bourgeoisie, great hilarious film directed by Luis Bunuel. I recommend it to everybody. It's one of my favorite films. It's a surreal film. Five out of five stars. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this whole thing. I hope more of you continue to do it. I look forward to watching some of your videos, and I will see you next time. Remember, there's three ways of doing things, the right way, the wrong way, and the chat away. See ya.